Welcome back. Today, <clears throat> part of the process just getting this thing ready to put in the water. I'm going to redo my seat, my back seats. Uh, I like this wood, this teak wood. It's just, as you can see, this is actually the better of the two. It's falling apart. I got some marine grade half inch plywood here. Just going to simply cut it out, fit on another pier. And uh, just to kind of sure this up, sturdy it, and then make sure any water that does seep through these slats makes it way to the plywood and then on out the grooves to get rid of the water. Uh, so it's going to be simple enough. Uh, I didn't do a really good finishing woodwork video on the companionway slider, so I'm going to try to do a little bit better on this one. And so after I get it shored up, we'll set it down, refinish it. So first step, getting some measurements and cutting. I got my wood pieces cut, and before I take these, all these little cross pieces off, I'm gonna have to secure these side pieces better. They just had four screws in there, which I've already took out. Uh, I mean, it's got a lift right here I'm gonna keep. That way any water, it'll, it'll drain, it'll force it out to the sides and through the drainage channels in the boat. Uh, got some glue. I'm going to glue it before I nail it. Uh, water resistant interior exterior. We'll make sure you use a good glue designed for what you're going to be using it for. I also got it on this flat surface so as I'm nailing I can keep all these nice and flat. Kind of make this as nice as possible. A little bit of glue down through here. And you know it might go out bottom so you can sand it later all right I'm gonna shoot this together I'm gonna try it with these it might be a little long but I want to make sure it holds got some two inch 16 gauge trim nails and uh, we'll try to shoot it nice and straight so they don't blow out the top or bottom Take your time, make sure it's right. Make sure you don't shoot a nail through your hand. <laughs> Always important. All right. <clears throat> I'm also going to keep these nice and tight. These are cut at an angle, each one of them, so they fit together. Keep those nice and tight. Beautiful. Now, get these off here. They were glued. I'm going to take them off prematurely. Give it a little help. There we go. Beautiful. Any of those will be shot out the bottom. I can simply tap down. I'll get a few shots at the top. We'll get those later. Yeah, I'm a piece of wood. Should fit in here really snug. Really snug. Too snug. All right.
too bad. Set over here. And sand all this out. Okay, I've switched to the Brad gun. I got it down here flipped over. And I got some 5 8 Brads, which are just a little bit more than half. These uh, teak pieces on top, they're a half. And then your gun's going to countersink your nails a little bit, so that'll give you enough to hold it right here, which is all we really need. You want to make sure you can countersink them. So when you hang. That when we sand this in the we won't hit the heads of the nails. Down through here every so often. I'd use a lot less grit of a sandpaper than this. This is a fairly soft wood, so I'm going to use a 220 orbital sander. Laugh all you want, but I got allergies. They've been killing me, so I'm wearing a mask. I'm going to start out by getting this. This is the worst spot, this little ridge that didn't go down. I'm going to start out with this. <laughs> right. My camera ain't working right today. Try to get a whole lot more sanding than what I did on tape. I got to sand it down pretty smooth across here. You can see it's a lot better. Got some more sanding to do, smooth it up some more. I do need to get some heavier grit sandpaper. And uh, I, I, I didn't silicone or glue this on, on purpose. In case any of y'all caught that. Uh, when I put polyurethane on here, the polyurethane will keep the water shedding off of this thing. I had some wood pop out. I'm to, I'd like to get some clear epoxy fill in. That way you kind of still see it. It has a little character, but seals it off from water. But in the future, if any water does find a place to penetrate and go through, I don't want it to get caught in between the plywood and the teak.